all unicellular eukaryotes come under Kingdom Protista. Members of the Kingdom Protista are primarily aquatic. Chrysophytes, dianoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds, and protozoans are few categories of protists. Since they are all eukaryotes, they contain a well-defined nucleus and other membranous organelles. Some protists also have either a flagellum or a cilium. They reproduce both asexually through cell fusion and sexually via zygote formation. Chrysophytes include diatoms and golden algae or desmids. They are microscopic and float in great numbers in both freshwater and saline water. Also, they are mostly photosynthetic. Diatoms are known as chief producers in the oceans. Diatom cell walls are embedded with silica, making them indestructible. Diatoms therefore manage to leave behind a large amount of their cell wall deposits in their habitats. These fossilized remains of diatoms form diatomaceous earth. It can be put to various uses like polishing and filtration of oils and syrups. Dianoflagellates are colorful protists found both in marine and freshwater. Depending on the main pigments in their cells, they are yellow, green, brown, blue or red. Sometimes, when a red dianoflagellate multiplies rapidly in the sea, it makes the sea appear red. This red tide phenomenon is known to be harmful as the toxins so released can kill other marine animals such as fish. Dianoflagellates usually have two flagella, longitudinal flagella and transverse flagella. Their names indicate how both the flagella are positioned. Euglenoids too, like dianoflagellates, have two flagella, one short and the other a long one. Instead of a cell wall, euglenoids have a protein-rich layer called pellicle that makes their bodies flexible. Euglenoids are phototrophic autotrophs in the presence of sunlight, since they also have chloroplasts like plants. However, they behave as heterotrophs in the absence of sunlight. Slime molds are saprophytic protists, that is, they live on dead organic matter. They form a huge aggregation called plasmodium. However, during unfavorable conditions, this plasmodium differentiates and forms spores that possess true walls. These spores are so resistant that they can survive for years under adverse conditions. Protozoans are protists that are believed to be primitive relatives of animals. Did you know that the word protozoans means the first animals? All protozoans are heterotrophs and live as predators or parasites. They can be classified into four types. Amoeboid protozoans, flagellated protozoans, ciliated protozoans, and sporozoans. Out of these, amoeboid protozoans are found in freshwater, marine water, as well as moist soils. They use false feet called pseudopodia to move and capture their prey. Some amoeboids like entamoeba are parasites. Flagellated protozoans, as the name suggests, have flagella. They can be either free-living or parasitic. 
some parasites like trypanosoma can also cause diseases like sleeping sickness. Ciliated protozoans like paramecium can be found at almost all places where there is water. They are very active since they possess thousands of cilia. It is the coordinated movement of these cilia that steers the water containing their food into their gullet. The gullet is a cavity that opens to the outside of the cell surface. Lastly, sporozoans are organisms that have an infectious spore-like stage in their life cycle. Plasmodium is the most famous sporozoan. It causes malaria in humans and is also known as the malaria parasite.